For the second time in his young career, Filipino strawweight contender Joshua the Passion Paceo will be challenging for the one strawweight world championship. At one conquest of heroes on September 22 in Jakarta, Indonesia, Paceo will once again share the cage with reigning strawweight title holder Yoshitaka Nabita Naito from Japan to determine who gets the right to call himself the king of one championship's strawweight division. This will be a rematch of their 2016 encounter for the championship, which saw the challenger Paceo showcasing his medal as one of the top talents in the division with a solid performance in a losing effort and Naito proving why he was the defending champion with a third-round submission victory. At that time, it was just Paceo's third endeavor on the one championship stage, having won his first two bouts in impressive fashion. Way before he was regarded as one of the Philippines' best young mixed martial artists, Paceo started out as a fan sitting in the stands, watching and cheering on his mentors in Team Lackey. I still can't believe it, Paceo claimed. Before, I was just sitting there, up in the stands, watching my coaches compete. Now, I'm competing alongside them as well. The 22 year old Baguio City native began his one championship career in 2016 and has since posted a 6 2 record with notable wins over the likes of Kratsada Kongsrachai, former one strawweight world champion Dijdam Rong Sar Amnua Sirachuk, and, most recently, Pingsiri Mitsudit. On September 22, he gets another opportunity at the coveted one strawweight world championship. Paceo got into the martial arts world through WASH, much like his seniors at Team Laake, and initially thought that would be the farthest that his journey would take him. Never, in a million years, would I have known that getting into WASH would take me this far. Paceo explained. I thought regional competitions in WASH and national tournaments would be the final stop for me in terms of martial arts. Dot training every single day with the kind of talent that calls Team Lackey home will definitely help with one's motivation. Seeing his coaches and stars like Edward Falayang, Kevin Balingan, Honorio Benario, and Gigi Stacquio represent Team Lackey inside the one championship cage, it lit a fire inside of Paceo. Now that Falayang, Balingan, Benario, and Yustak Wio are all in one championship's record books as world champions, Paceo hopes to be able to follow suit. When I saw my coaches go in there and compete in front of thousands of fans, of course it got me excited, it got me motivated, he stated. I had to look at myself and ask if Washu was really the pinnacle of my martial arts career or could I do a whole lot more. I got my answer in mixed martial arts. Dot with the guidance of Team Lackey head coach Mark Sanjo, Paceo did go on to do a lot more, and he is on track to do even more in his mixed martial arts career. I knew in my heart that I could do it. I knew it wasn't impossible for me to make something out of myself in mixed martial arts, so I pushed, and I worked, and I kept training hard until Coach Mark saw that I had potential to make it in this sport, and he told me to keep training, so that's what I did," he said. From the top of the stadium, Paceo's determination and belief in himself has taken him to the top of one championship's strawweight ranks. A win for Paceo in Jakarta will make him Team Lackey's third current reigning world champion and it also makes him the stable's fifth one title holder and the Philippines' sixth.